Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. A lot of people wonder how tubing is bent. If you just took a tube and bent it, what would happen is it would just kink in the middle and you would have a tube that's worthless. So what they do is they fill it with something. This tube is filled with pitch. That allows you to bend it without the metal kinking. And when it has pitch in it, it is also very easy to bend. I can bend that quite easily without really even trying. And then I can bend it back without any problem either. This tube that I have here is a French horn lead pipe and that is the most common piece of tubing that I bend. A lot of times French horn lead pipes get damaged and they need to be replaced and every French horn lead pipe is a little bit different so instead of buying the French horn lead pipe that goes with a particular instrument I just buy it like this. It's straight and it's filled with pitch and then I can bend that into any shape that I want. You can take the damaged French horn lead pipe and then line it up and then you can make the same shape with the pitch filled tubing. In this video though, I have a cornet lead pipe that I'm going to bend and I will show you how to do that. Right now it is hollow, so I need to fill it with pitch and then after I fill it with pitch I can bend it. Before I do anything to the tubing, I need to make sure that it's clean inside and also I need to clean up all of the old solder and the reason for that is I'm going to anneal the tubing. It's going to get very hot and if there is solder on it while I anneal it it's going to melt the solder and it's going to make a big mess so I need to make sure that all solder is off of the tubing and then I also need to clean up the lacquer and I usually do that by buffing. Whenever I empty the pitch out of tubing I put it in this bag and I save it so that I can use it if I need to fill something with it. So I'm going to fill this tube with pitch right now I'm putting a water key cork in the end of that to hold the pitch in. I'm going to take some of these little pieces of pitch and put it in there. This is a smaller piece of tubing, so it's going to take some smaller pieces of pitch. And the stuff does break, so you can just break it and put it in there. And then when it's full, I'm going to heat it up to melt it down. I'm going to use the torch to melt this down and get it at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I can see it melting down. It melts fairly easily, so just get that in there. Let the bubbles come up. If you get bubbles in here when you're bending it, it can kink the metal. So try to get all the bubbles out. Okay, now I'm going to fill it up some more and heat it up some more. And I'm going to keep doing that until it is full. This can be a dangerous job if you do not know what you're doing. So I suggest you only try this if you're experienced with brass instruments. The reason it can be dangerous is if you heat it in the wrong way, if you heat it in the middle and the middle expands and the sides do not expand, then the tube can explode. So you need to be very careful. And this can be very hot and pitch does burn. So if you do try this, make sure that, that you have a fire extinguisher handy. But you can still watch me do it and enjoy watching it being done, even if you do not do it yourself. This stuff is expanding, so it's starting to blow up there. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll move the camera. Now I'm going to have to heat it so it goes back down and takes all the bubbles out. All the bubbles have come up, so I'm ready to put more in there. It is still warm, so some of the pitch will just melt into there. This does melt at a fairly cool temperature, so uh, the chances are it's not going to hurt you, but if you're not careful, it can hurt you. And sometimes people heat this up too much, and then that's when it can really cause problems. In the factory, they do not use pitch usually. They use a, it's like a watery type substance and they fill it, they put it into the tubes and then they freeze it and then they bend the tubes and when they're done, they just let it sit and the stuff melts out of it. But I do not have that and you need more equipment to do it. So pitch is a lot easier if, if you do not do it all the time. I have the bubbles out of the tubing. Now I'm just waiting for it to cool. And once it cools, I'm going to bend it. While I'm waiting for this tube to cool off, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. I have three old Condirector coronets, and there are a lot of these out there, and usually they're in pretty bad condition, and I happen to have three of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tubes, rearrange them, and take the parts from the three instruments, and make something that looks like a tiny little baritone. 
The tube that I have here is a lead pipe off of one of these cornets. To make the instrument, I need to bend the lead pipe at around a 60 to 70 degree angle. After I'm done with the bass trombone restoration series that I publish on Fridays, I will probably use the Fridays to build this little instrument. The tube is cooled off and it's ready to bend. You want this tube to be room temperature or cooler when you bend it. So sometimes if you're handling it a lot, if you have your hands around it, it warms up. And if that happens, then you want to let it cool off again before you continue to bend it. When you're bending French horn lead pipes, a lot of times you need to let it cool off. This one is probably going to be a very quick bend and I won't need to worry about it. You may see that the tubing is bent already, and that's because there is some damage to the instrument. But I'm going to be bending it, so it's going to be bent anyway, so I'm not really worried about that. So here we go. I'm going to, I want it bent in the middle, about a 60 degree angle. Now this bends a lot harder than the French horn lead pipe. And the reason why is because it's shorter. When they're shorter, they're a lot harder to bend. So I got it bent that far already, and you can see that it, there are no kinks in it yet, which is good. And I'm going to continue to bend it. It is a little hard to bend, so I'm going to put some tubing on there for some leverage. Okay, that should help a bit. So that's good, that's about a 60 degree bend. Now I'm going to take out the pitch that's inside of there. So I'm going to take out the cork that I put in there earlier. I have a container of water I'm going to use to catch the pitch when it comes out. And I'm heating up the whole tube. I do not want to heat up, if I just heated it up in the middle, then it w might explode if it expands in the middle but not on either end. So I'm heating up everything here. It should start flowing out pretty soon. Okay. There it comes. I'm not putting a lot of heat on it because pitch melts at a fairly low temperature. Okay, there it comes out. Okay, that's most of it. Now I'm going to heat it up to get the rest of it out because there's a little bit left in there. The big part of it came out, but there are little... Uh, but there are little chunks of it still in there. And at this point, there's really no danger of it exploding, so I'm just going to heat it up. You can see why I have it over water and why I want a fire extinguisher available. Uh, not that I think it's actually going to start a fire. If I did think that, I would not be doing this at all. But just to be safe, I want a fire extinguisher present and that's why I'm over water when I'm doing this. Not much is coming out now, so probably most of the pitch is out of there by now. So I guess I'm about done. Now all I'm going to do is chem clean the tubing and put the brush through there to clean out the rest of it if there's anything left, and then it will be done. Now I'm going to take the pitch that is left and put it in the bag, and I can use that next time. Now all I need to do is buff the tubing and then it will be shiny and pretty again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.